In this video, we're going to talk about simplification method three, which involves prime factors. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to express the numerator and the denominator as a product of their prime factors. And when we do this, it becomes really easy to express your fraction in simplest form. We're going to do that here in example three. Now, this requires quite a bit of working out. So I'm going to get rid of this little bit up the top here. Um, like so, just to give me some more room. When you work these out, you probably need a bit of scrap paper because like I said, there's a lot of working out involved. All right, so we have the 12 and 30 in question A, and we're gonna find the prime factors of both 12 and 30, and we're going to use a factor tree, like so. What numbers multiply to give 12? Well, three times four makes 12, and three is a prime number, so we'll circle it. Four is not, it's composite. So we're gonna branch out from the four. Now four is made from two times two, and these two numbers are prime as well. We can't branch out any further, so we'll move on to the 30 now. What numbers multiply to make 30? Well, three times 10 makes 30, and we'll circle the three because it's prime. And then we'll branch out from the 10. 2 times 5 makes 10. Both of these numbers are prime. And we stop there because we can't branch out anymore. So looking back at our fraction of 12 over 30, what are the prime factors of 12? Well, they are 3, 2, and 2. So we're going to write, rewrite 12 as 2 times 2 times three, I've just taken the prime factors three, two, and two, and written them down in numerical order. Let's do the same for 30. We've got the factors of three, two, and five. In numerical order, this would be two times three times five. Now that we have our prime factors, we can start to cancel numbers. And the rule is that whatever number you cancel above, you must cancel the same number below. So we can cancel out the twos and we can also cancel out the threes, leaving us with a two above and a five below, like so. I have now put my fraction 12 over 30 in simplest form as two over five. Let's now move on to question B. We have two numbers here. We have a six and an 11. What two numbers multiply to make six? Well, we get two times three, and these are both prime, so we can circle both of them. We have now found the prime factors of six. Let's now move on to 11. Now, 11 is itself a prime number, so we can't really go any further than just the number 11 here. All right, moving back to question B, we'll rewrite six as its prime factors, two times three, and the 11 didn't really have any factors. We're just gonna write 11 as 11. You'll notice that we can't really cancel anything. I have a two above, but not below. I have a three above, but not below. The reason for this is six over 11 is already in simplest form. So we're just gonna leave it as six over 11. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to another slide for C and D. Our two numbers for C are 36 and 48. So what multiplies to make 36? Well, six times six makes 36. These are both composite. I can branch out from my six to get two and three and my other six to get two and three. I now have my four prime factors. Let's now move on to 48. What multiplies to make 48? Well, six times eight makes 48. And these are both composites. So to make six, I need two times three, both of which are prime. And to make eight, I can go two times four, like so, uh, two is prime, but four is not. I can branch out from my four and two times two makes four. So 48 has five prime factors. 
All right, I'm going to make give myself a little bit of room here. I'm going to rewrite the fraction 36 over 48 as a product of its prime factors. Now, 36 had the factors 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We can see that down here below. I just wrote them in numerical order. And 48 has the factors 2, 3, 2, 2, and 2. So if I write that down, I get um, it's 4 twos, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and 1 3, so times 3 at the end. Now we can do our cancelling. We'll cancel 1 3 above and below, 1 2 above and below, and another 2 above and below. You'll notice that we now have 1 3 above and 2 twos below. So if we've got 1 3 above, the two twos below, two times two is four. So we're going to write that as four and we get three over four. Three over four is the simplified fraction for 36 over 48. To be more specific, it's the fraction in simplest form. Let's now move on to question D. We have the two numbers, nine and 18. Let's find the prime factors of these numbers. So nine is made from three times three. And both of these are prime numbers, so we'll circle them. And 18 is made from 2 times 9. 2 is prime. And 9 can be split into 3 and 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And these are prime, so we'll circle them. So we'll rewrite our fraction 9 over 18, such that 9 is made from the two prime numbers 3 times 3. And 18 is made from 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, so we'll cancel 1, 3 above and below. And we'll cancel 1, 3 above and below again. Now, this could throw people a little bit because you'll notice that we've got 2 at the bottom and nothing above. So what do we do in that situation? And some people make a really big mistake. And some people go, all right, if there's nothing above, maybe I should put a 0. And that's a big mistake. It's not, it's not zero. So I would like to kind of segue from the topic a little bit and just ask you the question, what is one times three equal to? Well, one times three is three. What is one times five? Well, one times five is five. Whenever we multiply by one, it doesn't change the number. So we can multiply by one as much as we want. Nothing's going to change. And this is really useful because when we look at our numerator here, or the top of our fraction, if we really want to, we can write times 1 at the beginning of it. Because if we times by 1, it doesn't change anything. Now we can answer our question, because now we have a 1 above, which is what we want. We want it to be 1 over 2, not 0 over 2. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 3. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.